The blue haze of Pluto's atmosphere, possibly a hydrocarbon smog, seen from 200,000 kilometres away by NASA's departing New Horizons spacecraft. A few years ago, the dwarf planet Pluto and its five known moons were just small dots in the outer reaches of our solar system. That changed after New Horizons' six-month flyby ended in July 2015. The spacecraft spent 16 months sending its data back to Earth, and scientists and non-scientists alike have been enthralled by what it has revealed. If you go in closer to the surface, you can see this type of really diverse terrain. So you have a very bright region. These are flat plains. I'm not entirely sure how they formed yet, but there's a couple of leading theories. There's a huge range of mountains. There's all kinds of different aged surfaces. Some of them have lots of craters. Some of them have very few, which means they're younger. If you look at in a lot of detail at some of the, the mountainous regions, you can see that actually they're, they're a few kilometers high, but they're made of water ice. I mean, that's on Pluto, it's so cold that water ice is the hardest thing. It's more like rock. And so the stuff that forms the softer material is actually nitrogen ice. Water ice on Earth is close to zero degrees, but on Pluto it's minus 230 degrees Celsius. And there's a glacier of nitrogen ice called Sputnik Planitia, thought to be under a million years old. This is young by planetary standards, and no one knows yet how it formed or is renewed. The planet's diverse composition also contains methane, carbon dioxide and volatile substances that readily vaporise from a liquid to a gas or change from a solid to a gas. One of the really fascinating things is some of the surface coloration you can see in these images actually shows that um, there are these uh, compounds called tholins which are a combination of, um, of elements. But they're related to uh, prebiotic molecules, so they're, they're kind of relevant to prebiotic chemistry. And I think the fact that they have been able to form on planetary surfaces very far out in the solar system at very cold temperatures uh, really has implications for a lot of places. I mean, if you can imagine for star systems outside our own, where the star may be dim and the planets are quite far away, it's interesting to know that there are molecules that could be involved in supplying uh, you know, biotic material to, uh, to processes that, you know, may one day lead to life or be involved in life or something like that. Um, they're, they're actually forming way out in the solar system where no one really expected. Pluto is not like anything ever seen before, but the six gigabytes of New Horizons images and scientific measurements are giving scientists scientific mysteries to unravel for years to come. <laughs>